What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ty, and this is the News Corner. Yes, in this new little segment, I'm going to give you the biggest talked about, raved about, situated about K-pop news that's happened in this past week. Without further ado, let's get into the good little new News Corner. All right? So, Blackpink. Blackpink's official debut draws near with three music videos ready to go. So yes, if you haven't heard already, Blackpink is the new girl group that YG is about to debut soon. Hopefully, hopefully soon. I'm actually, I'm not big, big excited. I'm low-key excited, but yeah. So they're about to debut soon. Now they got three music videos ready. If I'm not mistaken, they're uh, like a three-parter music video. And I don't really know how that would be. I guess the like first music video would lead into the second, would lead into the third, and all that gravy train but i do think they said i do think they're going to be good songs because uh yg's producer teddy producer and he is a freaking good producer now a official date hasn't been released for them yet but everybody is hoping it's like real soon like either late july early august mid august i think the latest is people wanting them because people are really raving for this group this group has like a lot on their plate if i'm like i'm not getting lost on it they do probably have a lot on their plate because one they're the first girl group to debut since 21 and 21 debut like seven years ago so you know People say they don't, but people gonna draw comparisons to two anyone and damn like why don't two anyone does it like this? Why don't they like if people it if it, it does naturally, even if you don't wanna do it and even if you don't do it like that, it always pops up in your head or people say it naturally, like some people just don't give a damn and they'll say it. But it's gonna draw comparisons to two anyone and I do I don't like that because I two anyone has their own doing their own thing and they're in their own lane. I don't want a, a black pink to veer in their lane just because people was like, to anyone did this, that, and the third. I want them to like be in their own lane from the get and like make their own lane for themselves. And it'll be so dope if they do that because that's my little that's my little issue with Icon right now. They're copping in Big Bang's lane. I'm like, no, just make your own lane, like for real. The second thing is that to be honest, they're the last group, girl group to debut. For this new generation out of the trilogy. Because you think about it. SM 2014. SM debuted Red Velvet. And Red Velvet is like huge and popular. And they everybody's raving about some Red Velvet. And then last year. Uh, JYP released twice. And everybody loves JYP. The Talk of Town used to be A-Pink. Like when I was first getting into K-pop. Talk of Town used to be A-Pink. Now it's freaking twice. Like for real. Everybody's talking about. Uh, I don't know how to say her name. t Zuyu Or whatever. Uh, Zuyu Or... How would you say her name? <laughs> Talking about uh, Daehyun and all like it, everybody's raving about. It. So because they're the last ones, people gonna be looking at comparisons to Red Velvet and Twice. Cause when Twice came out, it was comparing Red Velvet to uh, Twice, which is ridiculous. But it's gonna happen. It, like people gonna compare, it. and that's just like a lot of pressure to mount on people's shoulders. Cause it's it's just like too much. It's like literally too much. Like, for real. Like, I don't like, like I said, I don't like when people compare, but that's that's how it is. And whatever. So, when they do debut, you got a fan of me. For real, for real. So many people, so many people is raving about it. So many people is excited. So many people is already pre-getting stuff. They're just hella popular right now without them even debuting. Like, that practice video they did to, like, a song that wasn't even there. It's no shade or whatever. Like, oh, what the fuck you going through? I don't give a damn. But... Practice video, I already got like millions and millions of views because so, so many people is so freaking ready for them to debut. Like, it don't make no sense. Like, these people want like, yes, let's get it. Because they should be excited. It's the first girl group since 2NE1 to do it. So, like, I mean, I mean, to come out. So, I would be raving too. I'm not, I, like I said, I'm low-key excited for them. But I do, or I do want to know what they're going to do in the future i do want to see their future activities and how they're going to do in the future and how their name is going to be in the future and it, it'll be our brain to train i hope hopefully new story sm entertainment reaches a settlement with Wu yi fine and luhan about m effing time for real for real yo 
If someone want to leave, let their ass leave. Like, for real. Like, why you got to waste all this money and all this time trying to take their ass to court? And then the same damn thing will happen. Like, that it should have Like, they gone. Like, you going to court to get them back. But, like, no. They're gone. Chill out. Calm your ass down. But, yes, SM Entertainment has finally reached a settlement with former members Chris and Lujan. They finally reached an agreement with him. The, uh, of course, if you don't know the story, uh, Chris tried to terminate his contract. Well, he left and then tried to terminate his contract, and they wasn't falling for it. So they took his ass to court, and then Lujan followed right behind him, tried to um, terminate his contract. And when they refused, he just left, like, like, that little, like in the freaking gone with the wind type shit. Like, uh, that's some I would do, like, for real, for real. And then they filed suit against him, and it's like they've been in courts for months and months and months. And months on months on months in, and now they reached to a settlement, which I'm glad. But to be honest, Chris and Lujan agrees to agreed to SM's term settlement, which really technically they're gone. They're not going to be part of SO no more. They're not part of SO no more. But their contracts will stay at SM until 2022, which is dumb as hell because that's like six years from now. And now because they still contract the up with SM in freaking Korea. That damn, they freaking every promotion, everything they do in China. Damn, SM get a little smidge of it. Like, I'm not, no, no, no. I don't work for your company, my dude. Like, you ain't touching my finances. Like, you can go and get ghosts with that bullshit. Like, for real, for real. That'd be me. Like, I would have like, I would have like, no. It would like, can we settle? I'm like, no, hell no. What you think? Like, no, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. But... I guess they probably want it to all be over or whatever like that and just like get done like get it over with because it's it costs money to stay in court for real for real so they probably losing more money in court than they would if they would just like agree to the terms and i get that and i get that i'm just strong will and i would have been like f your life i'm not doing that but you know you know last but not least hit the stage has revealed the first preview of Hyoyoon, Taemin, Hoya, Boar, and more killing it in the relay dance on the stage. Yo, so I am so excited for this show. Like, it don't even make no sense, like, how excited I am. Because, okay, first off, I saw this news article when it first came out. And I watched the trailer or whatever like that. Yo, it looks so freaking dope. It looks so freaking dope, and I'm so excited, and I'm so ready, and I cannot wait. Shows like this, I'm like, oh, I can't wait for, like, this show, and uh, I'm pretty proud, so I can't wait for it either. But this, I really cannot wait for, like, for real. So, Hit the Stage is an upcoming idol dance competition, where idols dance, uh, compete against each other, dance, and whatever like that. So, it's eight competitors, and if you don't know who they are, I'm going to tell you anyway. So you got Hyoyoon from Girls Generation, you got Tamer from Shiny, you got Hoya from Infinite, you got Bor from Sustar, you got Yukwan from Black B, you got Shonu from Master X, you got Momo from Twice, and then you got Tin from NT, mm, NCU. NCT. <laughs> Yo, like, when I tell you I'm so freaking hyped for this show, like, right now, like, after that preview, I'm so hyped, and I'm gonna tell you already who I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for Hoya because that boy is... That boy, that boy can dance. Like, if I seen all of them dance, I seen all of them dance uh, before. No, no, that's not true. Bora, I didn't know she danced like that, to be honest. I didn't know she was, she, I saw her with them people. I was like, oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, bro. Girl, how she was freaking looking good and everything. I was like, okay, okay, that's what it is. But to be honest, I'm rooting for Hoya. Like, I'm already ahead of time. Well, I'm rooting for a few people, but my main person I'm probably going to be rooting for is Hoya because I just want him to take it all because that boy can dance his ass off. Everybody can dance their ass off. Shonu can dance his ass off. Yukon can dance his ass off. Taemin, too. Like, Taemin is up there. He can dance his ass off. But Hoya, it's, it's just something about him. I'm just like, that's my dude. That's my go-to. That's my ride or die right now for this show. Like, I always got to ride or die with these uh, competition shows and he my ride or die probably. but you know what I thought was so freaking funny the bigger groups and like the more like the groups that have been out longer and know what they're doing or whatever like that they didn't have a team 
Kill You a gr uh, from Girls' Generation is uh, Chinese Tame and came out like dancing by themselves. Like, they was just like doing their thing. Everybody else had some dancers behind them. Which I'm not saying if you, you need the like backup dancers if you whack, but I'm just saying. Then they came out. Tame came out. He was like, and he just looked. He was like, I was like. But I'm so excited for this show. A lot of people was talking about it already. I guess, I mean, you know they like film ahead of time before like the preview day, obviously. And I've heard a few things. Actually, I heard the dancing is pretty good. The songs that they're doing is pretty good. I heard this one thing where some fans is upset that Momo from Twice isn't doing as good as they know she can or whatever like that. Which, I don't know that much about Twice. So I don't like really know that much about Momo. I do. I have seen her before. She was um, she's like quietish. She's like more chill back, like quiet. I don't want to say she's shy, but she's like quieter than anybody else. So, but I mean, what can you do? I mean, that's pressure on them. They they not they just became like her and Ten just became like famous. Not even like a year ago. Like, she, she, she's still under a year, like, of debut, and he is, obviously, too. But it, it's brush, it's pressure for the rookies. Leave them alone. They're going to try it. They was like, okay, I ain't used to this, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to get my thug thugs on. I'm going to do this little, little thing, whatever, like that. So they they trying. They trying. So don't don't give her too much grief. Premieres July 27th. Calendar. Bitch, like, for real, for real. Like, I'm so freaking ready for that show. Yep, that's it for today in this good little news corner with Ty. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want me to look up a news article or if you recommend a news article for me to um, talk about, I'll talk about it. So, yes, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. And have a good day because it is a lovely Saturday here in the South. It's hot as hell, but it's a lovely Saturday. I don't know how I'm telling you that. It's hot as hell.